even though most companies try almost everything to lower their costs, the following meta-analysis shows us that there is one area in which they lose about 700 billion to 2 trillion dollars every year just because they don't intervene strong enough when it comes to workplace mistreatment. So we are talking about behaviors like bullying, physical violence, sexual harassment, psychological aggression, discrimination, incivility, general harassment, ostracism and interpersonal conflicts. And for the meta-analysis, the scientists first try to figure out how often do people experience these behaviors at the workplace. And they found on average 34%, so almost every third worker experiences these kinds of workplace mistreatments at the workplace. Most often experienced was incivility. So about 75% said, yes, this is something that happened to me at the workplace. 45% said that they experienced ostracism. So for example, if you go eating with your colleagues and they choose a table, where there is no more chair for you, or for example, you don't receive uh, group emails. 38% said that they experienced psychological aggression, 17% said they experienced discrimination, and 16% experienced bullying. And sexual harassment, which by the way is the only one factor in which the numbers substantially went down in the past years, Sexual harassment was experienced by 26% of the employees. But the scientists did not stop there. They did not only calculate how often those behaviors were happening, how prevalent they were. They also, drawing from results from other studies, estimated how expensive those behaviors were for the companies. Because, as you might guess, people who are discriminated at their workplace or who are sexually harassed or who are bullied, of course, they are no longer that much productive. And on the other hand, they also more often stay at home. They stay absent from work and they say, no, no, if I'm treated like that at work, I won't go there. I get my paycheck, but I won't go there. Or if I go there, I don't work very hard. And therefore, the scientists came to numbers that I mentioned in the beginning, that these workplace mistreatments lead to costs of about 700 billion US dollars to maybe even 2 trillion US dollars. And actually, they say the real number might be even much higher because you also have to keep in mind that it's not only productivity loss for the company, but also these people really suffer and many of them might suffer severe psychological distress for a very long time and some might need psychotherapy, which of course is also causing tremendous costs for the society. And some of them, if you think for example of sexual harassment, some of them might never again return to a workplace. So the real costs actually could be much bigger. But all costs aside, um, of course, the psychological damage really is gigantic. And therefore, it's really important that companies try to improve this situation. And actually, it really seems possible because the scientists could also show that, especially when it comes to sexual harassment, the situation has improved in the past years. So the numbers are really going down. And the reason for that probably are movements like the Me Too movements and more and more emancipation all over the world. But this shows that if you change the culture, if you change the culture of your company or your organization, changes are possible. And another way to intervene, and this could also be shown in the meta-analysis, is to provide a good legal framework. Because it could be shown that in those countries in which workers were better protected by law, there was less workplace mistreatment. And last but not least, it could also be helpful to inform about the so-called bystander effect. Because bystanders have a strong impact when it comes to bullying 
or discrimination situations. Because if they stay passive or even might be laughing as well and saying, ah, oh, this is funny, yeah, you're, this is a really good joke, huh? you really turned him down, you really made great fun of him. If they behave like this, of course, they justify this behavior. But if they intervene and if they say, no, come on, uh, you are the boss, but you cannot treat your workers like this, then chances are that the culture will change and in the future there will be less workplace mistreatment. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Feel free to hit the like button if you found this episode helpful and if you want, we will see you in the next one.